All right, so scene safety is a big important factor when we are meeting our calls. Our environment is important. We need to know what kind of environment we're going to. The mechanism of injury is also a concern. We know why we're being called and what scenes we're going to. The number of casualties, so is there one, is there more, is it a multi-casual scene? Our outlet resources that we have, do we have fire on scene, do we have police on scene, and if not, we need to make sure we reach out to those sources. We need to make sure we have our proper PPE, so that means a glove, gown, goggles, mask, and anything else that will uh, protect us and our patients. Hi, sir. My name is Troy. This is my partner, Melanie. Do you have a partner today? Uh, what's going to be the matter? I was in chest pain. Had some chest pain. All right. Um, my partner's going to hold C spine. I'm just going to take a look at your airway. Beautiful. That's clear pain. So I'm We're going to check breathing for spontaneous equal chest rise and fall. And we're just gonna check your carotid and radial pulse. That is checking for chest rise and fall, making sure it's spontaneous. And I'm gonna check carotid and radial pulse. I'm gonna check the back of your neck, checking for step off carbon deformities, looking for facial grimace as well. Can I get a full set of vitals? Sir, what's your name? It's Marcus. Marcus, Marcus Elby. I'm 28. Eight and six points. My partner's gonna be doing a full set of vitals on my patient. He's gonna put a blood pressure cuff on you, okay? Making sure to look at our gloves when we do it. Looking for any gross leaves, incontinence, medical alert braces, trap marks. It's gonna palpate the back of your neck, checking for step off carpets and deformities. Some more. What you just watched was an ideal demonstration of a thorough patient assessment. An effective patient assessment involves both paramedics working together to determine the patient's current health status and what steps would be best taken moving forward. It is important to follow these steps in order to ensure consistent and effective patient care.